Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Hey everyone, Kenny Tony coming at you today with this quick video. So thank you for checking out my channel. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and to share this video. So today what we're going to be doing is getting some final touches on the YFZ 478 WR Hybrid. And my goodness, I've been waiting forever for these pieces of plastic to come in. So let's hope they're the right ones. So we're going to get out there, see if we can get this Wait thing completely dressed up and looking good. What I was missing was the front radiator scoops that came out. I already had the front, the gas tank, and the rear plastics. And if you've seen in the last video or a couple videos back, I did kind of sand those down and refurbish them. So we're going to hope that the new plastics kind of look close. It doesn't matter if it's exact or not because we're going to put graphics on this eventually. But let's get to this video and enjoy the content. So here we are with our package of miscellaneous bolts and washers from Partzilla.com. It's going to be the ones that we need to get these plastics mounted on and get these radiator scoops on. Oh yeah. Let's not forget the radiator scoop is here in the box. Got these from Partzilla and hmm, I'm not really thinking this is the right one. We'll see. So let's go ahead and get this box opened up. I'm not going to lie, I am a little nervous. And I'll tell you why here in a minute. We'll see. I opened the front of the box up, but I didn't look, to be honest. Alright. We're good. We're good. So if you wondered... So if anyone wonders why I'm nervous, it's because right here on the box, when I opened it, it stated PB, left side, I'm thinking that was purple blue instead of white, but I don't care, I got the correct one. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get this piece slid on through here. All right, so it's on there. Didn't take much sliding and much maneuvering, but it looks like we got two fasteners, one here, one here. And I'm gonna figure out, this one goes on there. It's gonna be one at the bottom as well. Start getting these pieces of plastic cranked down. So we're gonna go ahead and put these 10 millimeter nuts in here. Got one up here, one's gonna be down here. And we're gonna put these in. I'm only gonna show one side. I'm gonna do both sides. So we'll do one side and go over and do the other one. But So now we have our, all that stuff, these two connected, so the sides are tight. So these are little rubber spacer bushing things I was talking about. So these two parts go together and they'll fit up in here. And I'm going to use some stainless M6. And as I've stated before, this is going to be duplicated on the other side. The exact same thing. So now that that's installed, we're going to get these little pieces here. Stainless hardware once again. We 
repeat on the other side so that's about it I put two push pins in here one here and one here they just came in a universal pack that I had already purchased up top there are five millimeters right here and two more sixes yeah these look like crap but that's just what I had they had to be those kind of bolts like the front one that had a little space because it fits in here but officially the front plastics are on everything and here we are all right so here we are side plastics on it definitely changes the look of machine you can see the different colors in the two whites but that's not going to hurt anything because it is going to get graphics on it Mm, mm, mm. seat cover has already been ordered it's come from thrill seekers I do have a what is that called a uh, traveler light bar from tractor supply I didn't buy it it actually came with the Raptor 250 but I just took it apart powder coated it put some powder coat on it made it look nice and clean and put it up there been debating on shorter bars but we'll see how that goes with the bar risers overall I think this looks good all right everyone thank you for checking out this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe looks good this is the end